Hi guys and welcome back. So today what we're going to be talking about is how we can add custom equipment to our faction. So in this case for this lesson, I want the Americans to use an AK-74 and be able to pull it from the arsenal. This is also going to apply if you have any modded weapons you downloaded from the workshop and stuff and you want to add it in. This is all going to work all the same. So anyways, we're going to go down to the faction manager here. We're going to go ahead and plop this up. And we're going to go to our faction, which is going to be US. I'm going to go ahead and expand this so we can kind of see this a little bit more clearly. Anyways, you're going to scroll down. And you're going to look for, uh, let's see, entity catalog. Yep, right here. We're going to go down to items. And as we can see, we have weapons already open. We got equipment and over this multi list, we have a lot of stuff we can work with. Anyways, we're going to go down to weapons. And as you can see, we already have a few in here. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on this plus sign over here. We're going to do entity catalog or inventory item, I should say. But the best way you can check here is that you can hover over what's in here. So, for example, sometimes I forget what needs to be clicked. In this case, it's an entity catalog inventory item. So we're going to make sure we do this over here on the right. Click the plus sign. And wherever I clicked over here, it's going to put a spot right underneath. By default, if you don't have it clicked, it's going to be all the way down the bottom, but too easy. Now, here it's have no prefab. There's nothing in here, so we need to tell it what to do. Now, there's two ways we can do this. I prefer going to the search browser if I know what I'm looking for. In this case, it's an AK-74, so I'm just going to type that in. Armory Forger, prefabs, weapons, rifles, AK-74. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop into the any prefab. You can also click on the dots over here, the browse, and then you can also do it this way and then hit OK. So awesome. Anyways, what we're going to be doing here is we need to start putting in an entity data list. So if I'm not sure what needs to be done, luckily we already have some that are already set up correctly. So we can go ahead and take a look here. As we see, we just have an arsenal data, which is SCR underscore arsenal item. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our area, entity data list, hey okay, here, SCR arsenal item. Amazing. Now, if we go back to the arsenal data over here on this M16A2 carbine, we can see that an item type is rifle, item mode is weapon variants. Unfortunately, this isn't a weapon variant, so we're just going to keep it on rifle and default. For example, if I had, let's say, an AK-74 with a GP25 or a grenade launcher, that's how you would want to do it. Anyways, you can go ahead and change the supply cost here. For instance, it's 10 supply points to pull this out. If, let's say, since it's a capture enemy equipment, I want it to be 25, I can do that as well. And there we go. Now the player base should be able to pull the AK-74 from the box. But unfortunately, we don't have any ammo for it. So how are we going to do that? Well, make sure when we added a weapon, make sure it has the correct ammo. Obviously, Americans are not going to have 545 ammunition. So we're going to go ahead and go over here, Entity Catalog Inventory Item. And what we're going to be looking for is the magazine. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and find that. So we're going to go ahead and keep this up in the search. We're going to go under Magazines over here. And if we look over here on the left hand side, we should have all of our loose magazines here. It's all about trying to find it. And here we go. As we can see, we're just going to grab the AK-30 round ball. And we're just going to place it in there. We're going to double check the magazines or what we need to put down here. Obviously, as we can see, it's still an arsenal item, which is fantastic. We're going to click this button over here, arsenal item. And then what we need to do is we need to tell what item mode it is. If we leave it on default, it's going to think it's a weapon. So we're going to change it to ammunition. And you can obviously change the supply cost. So in this case, it's just ammo. So let's put it down as a solid three. So there we go. Now we have the player base able to pull an AK-74 and they're able to get ammo for it. So let's go ahead and see and make sure we did this correctly. If we go in and put down an arsenal, we should be able to pull out the equipment. Alpha main to all stations. Supplies have reached and if we look in our arsenal, there is our AK-74. So now our players are able to pull a custom weapon. And as we can see, we have the ammo here. I know instead of the three, sometimes it will freak out and kind of pull another value and stuff. It's just something that happens. I honestly not sure what causes that, but it's probably something more baked into some of the, a lot of the other commands. There's a lot of lines and how to set stuff up. 
and you're able to change it later. So that's how we add in weapons and stuff. And this also works the same for attachments. Like for instance, if we had an RHS AK-74 and we wanted to have the uh, PSO scope or something on it, you can kind of do the same thing, pull the attachment, put it in, arsenal item, and then of course you want to list it as attachment. And we can go ahead and take a look at one of the attachments right now. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and drop down ammunition. We're gonna to go to weapon attachments here. We're gonna do the same thing. We want an inventory item. We got no prefab and that's fine. We're gonna go over to attachments here. We're gonna look under optics and we're looking for, let's do a PS01. Well, kind of the same thing. Drag and drop, give it an arsenal item, open it up. We can say it's a rifle and we're gonna say it is an attachment. And bam, it's just that easy. A lot of this stuff is really self-explanatory. A lot of it is, you know, what am I looking at? Is it ammo? Is it a weapon? Is it an attachment? That kind of stuff. So very simple, very easy. All right, in the next video, we're gonna be talking about how we can add vehicles to the faction. All right, take it easy, bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you learned something today, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and if there's something that you'd like to see as a tutorial, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out my Twitch. I sometimes do dev streams from time to time, so you might be able to learn something from there. Anyways, take it easy. Bye-bye.